Howdy folks, Tex Grabner here with Tex Grabner Outdoors. Hope you guys are ready for Tex Grabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness because we're going to be making it weird. going to be showing you guys my new knife backstop, how I built it, and I'm going to show off my new cold steel drop forge buoy. It's actually a pretty fair knife for the price and I haven't managed to break it yet, as well as doing a little bit of tomahawk throwing and playing around with my cold steel true flight throwers. And I hope you guys enjoy this week's episode of Tex Grab Your Outdoors. If you're in the market for some high-end hunting ammunition between 30-06 all the way up to 505 Gibbs, or you want to take a 12-gauge and you want to make it be able to kill a rhino, check out my friends over at Aria Ballistic Engineering. If you're in the market to armor the front of your arrow, use the code TGO10 at Ethics Archery. That will give you a 10% discount on your purchase price. And if you're looking for a discount on all your trad life supplies, but to show your support for Tex Grebner Outdoors at the same time, use the code of Tex Grebner in your checkout at ThreeRiversArchery.com for free shipping on orders over $100. I want to start this off by saying this is dumb. And I know that it's dumb. But I'm also a 12-year-old at heart, and I got a brand new Cold Steel Drop Forged buoy. And because I'm a 12-year-old at heart, what's the first thing a 12-year-old kid wants to do when they get a brand new big knife? They want to throw it into a tree. So I'm calling this durability testing because if this actually works, this could be a really badass throwing knife. It's stuck. So far, we're fine. No damage yet. And it probably would help if I found the proper rotation. <laughs> this is so stupid. If you're wondering why I'm not aiming for the cookie yet, it's because I'm just getting a feel for it. Well, hot damn! Maybe I should have started on the cookie. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, what's funny is, as a general rule, if I can't break something in about five minutes, it means that it's fairly good. But I would say it does seem like it's going to hold together long enough for me to actually get good at it rather than like when I was 12. I'd get a frost cutlery blade, instantly take it out to the tree in the backyard and break that thing. You know, I should probably quit while I'm ahead. The funny thing about making videos is nobody wants to watch you miss, go and pick up your stuff and try again. But everybody will call you a liar or ask you how many tries it took you to get stuff to stick. Anyways, with that being said, this is one of my original knife throwing targets. Now, I haven't thrown knives in a number of years. I used to be pretty good at it, and it seems to be coming back to me. But I made this a few years back out of an old barn slat from a stall and a log cookie. There's only one problem with it. Neither of these woods were treated, so I'm not going to claim that this is my idea. I stole this idea from everybody else that ever thought it would be a good idea to screw two by fours together 
in order to make a laminated target face. Now this wood didn't really cost me anything because somebody was building a tree house and so I just took their ends that they were just going to use for firewood that they gave me. We already had the seed corn signpost down on the farm and the industrial belting that keeps me from hitting my posts. It's a good idea. It's not my good idea. And I wish I'd done it years ago. The True Flight throwers are some of my favorites that I've ever had of the cold steel throwing knives. The only downside is if you're going to throw more than one knife into a target at a time, you're basically going to destroy that 550 cord handle. Right now I've got skateboard tape wrapped around. I may adapt that into something else depending on how I want to change the balance. As you can see, I've created a triple sheath out of three separate sheaths with a sewing awl, some fishing line, a needle and the pliers, and some uber long Chicago screws. And I took the Velcro clasp off because with these stacked like this, it's a good enough friction fit. It's not ideal, but it's urban bushcraft good enough. Well, three of them stuck. Six in a row, I probably better quit while I'm ahead. Nine in a row. Now I do not edit these to make myself look cooler. I edit these so that you aren't bored and I think what really got me into like throwing knives was Bill the Butcher in Gangs of New York and Amsterdam. Thing is, not once in the training montage for Big Bill's Big Party do you ever see Amsterdam bounce a knife. Not once. He was born a badass, apparently. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's episode of Texas Grabbing Your Outdoors. As always, good bless all my sports over America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please got my friends over at threeriversarcher.com. Thank you very much to those who are involved in law enforcement, you good cops out there. And those who serve in the military are ready to die for freedom anywhere. And thanks for watching Texas Grabbing Your Outdoors.